What's up, guys? I wanted to pop on here and just kind of talk about my feelings because I'm processing a lot this morning. Um, for those of you who have been following my journey, um, I have been doing this uh, annual outdoor concert in my in my neighborhood, and it all started after COVID times. And I thought we could totally bring um, live music back. Hello, what's up, Joel? And um, this concert was supposed to happen, and it's it's been kind of like my baby, my pride and joy. It's like my way of getting to know my community, to give back to my wonderful neighbors uh, with my musical talent. And you know, this year we even had scheduled a ice cream truck to come out, um, and we also provided tacos. Uh, and it was a whole plan, and we were so excited. My students and I have been working and rehearsing, practicing. For months, I even had a guest artist that I had. Um, hello, Matthew, a guest artist that I had hired, and he's incredible. He came to um, as a featured artist, open, and we we're all setting up, and everything was great. And we knew there was bad weather, but we were thinking, you know, we're t we're in Texas, and we get bad weather like all the time, April, May. So we just thought this will just pass. So, you know, that's why I canceled my concert. And I'm really upset about it because I felt like, one, I was upset that my students who have gotten to play and practice and rehearse for months and months didn't get to perform that song, their songs and their solos and our ensemble. And two, the solo artist that I had invited um, that I wanted to really expose to my community, he's a local artist in Dallas, uh, Figaro, and um, I didn't get to give him the type of exposure that I wanted to give him. As a musician, that's also upsetting for me. And third, um, I had hired all these vendors and paid them all already out out of my pocket which I was happy to donate um, but you know now I just have like 100 tacos and like all these ice creams that I, I just don't even know what to do with so I guess I'm very upset and as a musician and a and a owner of a music business this is upsetting but I guess I feel grateful uh, understanding that as a musician and vendor yes they should be paid out regardless of whether the weather weather was bad or the uh, the show was performed. So I paid out all my vendors and my artists because that was how I was treated. Last year, I was booked my uh, annual gig with the city of Plano, and I booked this Halloween gig. And it's a huge gig, and it's a citywide thing, right, in the uh, city of Plano, Texas. And they had already paid me. Uh, they paid the deposit months ahead. They pay the... The full amount on the day of and made an announcement at 10 a.m. after paying me saying, we're just going to forego because of the weather. So at the time, I was kind of bummed because I'm like, man, I am like supposed to get exposure from thousands of people, but they canceled the gig. But fortunately, my contract always states that deposit is collected and if it gets canceled, after the full payment, then it is what it is, right? So I understand that because as a musician, I have benefited from that type of language in my contract that I really do respect that. So even though I didn't get to share my 120 tacos the way I intended to with the people that I wanted to provide this for, and I still had to pay out an ice cream person, and they were very upset that they didn't get to bring their truck out and then have exposure too. But, you know, I'm thinking but you are still getting paid for your product and the materials. And, you know, someone is always eating the cost at the end of the day. And that usually is always the musicians. And I'd rather much ha have, uh, be, I'd rather do this as a music brand and still, um, I guess, take care and compensate the musicians, knowing that there could be losses on, on my business, than to have it the other way. Because I just ethically would not be able to, work and promote in an industry like that so long story short i just wanted to pop on and say i am so grateful and yes i'm sorry it didn't go as planned if i can do anything to help with the next event let me know thank you so much and i really appreciate that and i guess more than anything i just wanted to come on here and just like express my disappointment because i know my neighbors uh they really wanted me to reschedule but it's just very hard to do that um, because I have other booked gigs and shows and, you know, to get all the same players and the musicians scheduled for a whole another day, it was just very challenging. Anyway, 
I just know that this is just part of the industry, and whether the shows get canceled or not, everyone gets disappointed. Someone's eating the cost, and there's a, a lot of uh, misdirected time, energy, and it can be emotionally hard to recover. I think that's where I'm at. I'm about to go start teaching my lessons for this morning, and I'll have this conversation with my student who didn't get to play her piece uh, yesterday, but showed up and was ready. But. Thank you for listening, and um, I'm going to make a post about this, but I do want to make it clear that I am so incredibly grateful for those of you following my journey and really hyping me up and just being here to be a supportive fellow colleague, human, and soul, and for that, I'm very grateful and learning through these lessons myself, so wishing you guys a happy Memorial Weekend.